Obviously, right now with the 32, we're doing a CD009 swap, putting an S chassis subframe in it, um, just kind of getting it more bulletproof and ready to be a legitimate backup car and practice car. So that's kind of what's going on, the big project going on right now. So here's kind of where we keep all our fluids. So we kind of, we have different fluids for each of the cars. This is the stuff we like. It's not sponsored by the way, but this is honestly great oil for RBs. So we run that in all the RB motors. So we just kind of keep all our fluids lined up here. We got bolt bin, so we're all, all Nissan, so it's all metric stuff. Um, then like spray paints, tapes, towels. Uh, it's, we just kind of like to keep everything organized and in one spot so it's easy to come over, whatever you need, grab it, easy, easy to do. Um, here's a Tacoma, this thing <laughs> needs a little work, you need a new motor in it, but uh, so it just kind of sits there and looks pretty. I don't know what we, I don't have a name for this area yet, but this is kind of like our, I guess, manufacturing area, let's say. So if we're making little brackets or adjusting pieces of metal, things like that, we have belt sander, grinder, drill press, um, kind of all the stuff you need here. And you can also weld on this table, which is nice. And then this, this is kind of our little, little workbench where we keep random stuff. So we have like different adhesives in there, like all different kinds of nut certs and attachments, rivets, vacuums, um, electrical like loom and things like that. Vacuum lines, fuel lines, all that stuff. Wiring, we stole a bunch of that stuff for Atlanta, so it's kind of empty. Um, zip ties. And then here we got more fuel lines as well as like sanding discs and cut off wheels, all that stuff. Here we got parts cleaner. This thing is a must have once you start kind of really getting down and dirty. So if, like for example, we're doing a a new diff in the rear and we switch the the rear casing over for S chassis so we'll actually bring the whole diff in here and just spray it down clean it uh, makes it super easy and it gets like all the grease off all the grime little sandblast cabinet we got this thing on, on uh, Harbor Freight it's freaking cheap but this is awesome for like like I said when we are making little brackets and stuff we can bring them pop them in here just get all the grime off them get them down to bare metal and then just spray paint them and throw them in the car it just kind of gives a better Better fit and finish. Um, hydraulic press. This is a new one for us, but definitely a must have for pressing out bearings or even when we were working on the pit bike, <clears throat> we had to put little spacers on the axle so you could kind of press them in real nice. Much better than trying to like get on it with a hammer or something like that and messing anything up. Engine hoist. Hopefully don't have to use this too often, but we have it when you do need it. Another Harbor Freight special. And then if you're into drifting, you gotta have a tire machine. That's a necessity. So we've had this for a long time and it saves a lot of money. Cause discounts like 10, 15 bucks a tire. Or if you go to the track, they're 10, 15, even 20 bucks a tire. So definitely a necessity. And then we got the sedan sitting here. We're kind of putting the sedan to the side right now, trying to get the 34 pro car finished and then uh, get the 32 fixed up as a legitimate practice car and backup car. So unfortunately we're going to set this thing to the side, but it'll be dope once we do get to it. So that's like most of the shop. I'll have JMO go in a little more detail on some of the tools and some of the uh, supplies we have. I wanted to bring you guys out here and show you our uh, nice little shipping container we have. So this is where we keep like all our parts for sale, spare parts, Obviously we have like all our fuel lined up here. So we just got this like a couple months ago because the shop was literally getting flooded with parts. You couldn't even walk. So this thing has been amazing. We put like freaking four racks in here. We keep all our tires in here. <clears throat> it's just able to keep, you can keep everything. These are like, these shipping containers are waterproof, dustproof. So you can literally keep everything in here real nice and keep dust off of it. Um, that's just a good spot to organize stuff. So. These are like all parts for sale. And then here we have, this is like all the pro car stuff that'll go on. This is all sedan parts, 32 coupe parts. So it's kind of nice whenever you do need something, you can just come in here, you know where it is. It's nice and organized. 
and then tires. I don't know how good you guys can see that in there, but there's like literally 90 tires back there. <laughs> but that just keeps them out of the shot. Um, and these are obviously, these are dope rotiform wheels for the pro car. So we're kind of just keeping these in here, keeping them nice until we're uh, ready to run them. <clears throat> but we ended up getting the, uh, a mix of three spoke and four spoke. So like literally these are my two favorite design wheels in like the whole world. And I could not decide between one or the other for the sedan or for the coupe. So I was like, you know what? We're getting a mix of both. So that will look, definitely look sick. So I wanted to point out one thing specifically for you guys. As you know, stickers add horsepower depending on their size and also how, how rare they are. So this is where whenever I need a little boost, I just come in here grab a couple slaps, up the horsepower all day long, all day long. Tons of horsepower in here. Definitely a necessity for your garage. Get yourself a sticker box, get yourself a slap collection. Grab some slaps from us, please. That'd be great, we have some dope ones. Those add uh, 20 horsepower a piece, by the way. Most slaps are like 10, ours are 20. So I wanted to take this time to introduce you guys to Jamison Upton. Uh, What's up guys? This is our crew chief for Haugen Racing as well as our lead mechanic. Uh, so I'm going to have him introduce himself, tell you his story a little bit, and then also have him go in a little more detail on some of the tools we have around the shop. What's up guys? Uh, before we get into kind of going through my toolbox, explaining a little bit more about the tools here, um, I just want to kind of tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I've got about, at this point, seven years in racing. Um, before I joined forces with Matt uh, here at Haugen Racing, I worked for a company that did all vintage racing, so I did everything from the 1930s up to the mid-90s, Trans Am cars, Can-Am cars, uh, kind of did the same thing where we traveled around the country and pit crewed. It was a little bit of an older crowd, so this is kind of a little bit more my speed. I met Matt at, at the last shop that I worked at. Um, he had brought his Genesis in to get a little bit of work done. Uh, we kind of did some things like the right-hand drive conversion, uh, the only Genesis that I know of uh, that was right-hand drive. So we did some of that. We did some other small projects on the car, and uh, I kind of got to know him um, from him coming in and out of there every now and again. And <clears throat> I really found that I enjoyed his company and kind of thought that what he was doing was, uh, was cool. And I didn't know a ton about drifting before I met him. And uh, I really thought the car was awesome and um, kind of the culture that surrounds drifting uh, was very, very interesting to me. So I took a lot of extra time and kind of studied it, watched a lot of it, um, learned a lot about it. and started doing some work for Matt on the side. I'd come up here to the HR factory and me and him would bang out some small projects and kind of uh, do some random little things and I'd help him with some of his cars. Um, and from there, I guess, we really got along great. So um, eventually the opportunity came where I could come on full time with him and I jumped at it. We're super excited to kind of see where our program goes and man, we work hard every day to get what we want and have fun and give you guys what you want to see and that's why we're doing what we're doing. Well, that's about it uh, for my history, at least the part that you guys really need to know. Um, but like Matt said, we can uh, kind of get into some of the specialty tools that I guess all of you guys should have if you're going to get into drifting or really any type of competitive driving. Uh, there are definitely a lot of things that require some specialty tools and while they're not all cheap, a lot of them are must-haves. So check it out. First off, must-have RC drift car. Boom, boom. We get some downtime at the track. We still got to bang some doors. If it's not on here or FR Legends, we're doing it in real life. All right, a couple of things that are probably pretty important for you guys to have. Um, we'll start here. A nice, nice selection of wrenches. We got stubby ratchets, stubbies. 
We got <clears throat> all the extensions you could ever want, impact, whatever. You need a nice selection of wrenches. You never know when you're going to find standard stuff and metric stuff, especially when you're dealing with putting LS motors and swipping and swapping parts. So you got metric, standard, all the good stuff. Getting down into here, these flush cuts. If you guys don't have a pair of flush cuts, you're doing it wrong. Okay? If you've ever reached into an engine compartment, compartment and ripped your arm open on a zip tie, you feel my pain. Got to get a set of flush cuts. Safety wire pliers. Don't go to Harbor Freight. Don't get the cheap stuff. It's a nice set of snap-ons. It's all the difference. <clears throat> get yourself a really nice rivet gun. Okay? If you've ever put in rivets anywhere, you pop it, it leaves half the rivet, no good. Got to get a nice set. You get everything from your picks, you know, your reamers, all that good stuff. Definitely want a nice set of AN wrenches. If you're going to be upgrading any of your oil cooler components, any water components, you're going to be running AN line. And a nice set of wrenches is definitely important. So we got everything from seal pullers, spark plug boot pliers, all kinds of fun stuff. All right, this is a super important tool, tight fit angle drill kit. This guy right here is a lifesaver. So you ever been in a spot where you just can't get your drill in? Well, this little guy right here makes all the difference. You can get that into a tight spot, throw whatever size hole you need. Very important. I don't even know. Ah. I noticed in drifting, everyone likes their big, long lug nuts. Okay, so you need to get yourself a nice set of aluminum deep wheel sockets so you can get all those lug nuts off. Torque wrenches, guys. Torque wrenches are extremely important. So we got ourselves a 3H drive here. Half inch drive here. I cannot stress enough how important it is to torque specific things down. Flywheel bolts. <laughs> lock tight, lock tight, torque. <laughs> I mean, that's about it for my toolbox here, guys. My tools are kind of strewn about the shop. We've been working hard the last couple weeks, and I haven't got a chance to kind of reorganize everything. As you can tell, there's bags of tools under the toolbox, on the tool carts. We got tools everywhere. <clears throat> so, ooh, this guy right here, call it the bolt breaker. If you don't have one of these, <laughs> you're not doing it right. Thanks guys for taking this tour of our shop, our tools, some of our tools. You guys will see more in the next video. Um, but pff, this is it for now. Matt, dude, have you figured out how we're gonna end these videos?